All right, we are back. Nice on the Rivers Edge Radio Network, and yeah, we're talking. Yeah, you're the first person to play that song. Like, oh, I just really? Finished, I well, was just in LA cool. finishing that record. Well, for me. And uh, I haven't even we haven't even released it yet. We haven't. There even, we go. We haven't even so drawn up the artwork yet. Yeah. So. So first time here first on the Rivers time. Edge. Right That's here, right. That's best stuff here always. Uh, we are here. And we're going to talk. We're with Michael of Twenty Eight North, and we're going to talk about your guys' performance coming up, the second. And uh, I'm excited. We're so excited to be part of this performance. It's going to be fantastic. I, I think a uh, good group of musicians, great artists. Absolutely. I'm excited. And it's such an awesome venue in the city. So um, how did you get involved with the venue? I know you guys were. We were supposed to play there. We showed up at Deutschtown Music Festival a couple weeks ago. Um, and right when we got there, like my buddy Sean Hickman, who I think you've had on. Yes. Yeah, we, mm-hmm. we and him just wrote a song together. It's a good Nice. Track. Shout out to Sean and Wendy, my friends. We went to Steely Dan together as well. Really mm-hmm. love those guys. But anyways, he's like, hey, man, uh, yeah, the venue's closed down. Uh, the cops are upstairs. Stadies are upstairs. Someone had like, a serious noise complaint. And we're like, all right, so we're not playing. And there was like a little back and forth for about 45 minutes. Then we're just like, okay, this isn't happening. And so you never actually made it into the we, building? Well, I walked in. Mm-hmm. I was in. And I, we actually got there early. Because we were supplying the drum kit for everybody. Turned out they had a drum kit because they're a great venue. But, um, yeah, we got there, went back, went fishing for a little bit, came back to the gig. And they were like, yeah, guys, there's no gig here tonight. So we were kind of bummed. And then Kevin, I think it's Kevin, reached yeah, out Kevin to me. Yeah, Kevin Saffer. Mm-hmm. Good guy, too. He reached out to me. And, you know, Actually, the, the gig is just me. My drummer's in L.A. right now. My okay. bass player's in Cleveland. And I'm doing this show solo because I had some really cool solo stuff I got going on. And yeah. You know, the band just couldn't make it for this one. We have the show next week in the House of Blues in Cleveland. And, mm-hmm. You know, Tyler's in L.A. right now. But it'll be just me, which I'm really excited about, to showcase this kind of new thing I've been doing. You know, it's all 28 yeah. North. It's the umbrella that I live under. Sure. But uh, it'll just be me. So when you said you guys, uh, I just wanted to so know. So it will be just be, you. Okay. It'll be the one-man band. Very Michael cool. Michael from 28 North. So did you see what went down that night in Deutschtown? Did you see the entire thing? I saw the whole thing. thing. Oh, oh. I had a unique perspective because so, I was pissed. Because yeah, I t- to tell play. me about that, the situation. Well, what was that this like? This is what's ridiculous to me is like obviously the festival got the city ordinances necessary to put the festival on. The festival, mm-hmm. whatever, the people that put it on uh, because there was music all day. Yes. Like for a couple of days, right? <clears throat> So for them to shut a venue down by calling the state police is ridiculous to me. Well, I don't think the city called the state police. No, no, no. The, city the dude just... called the state police. The dude. Yes, the guy who was the, complaining. The yeah. Baltimore guy. Like, hey, man. You know, I mean, look, some people don't want to hear music. You know, I get it. But, like, really, do you need to be that guy that's, like, right in front of everybody's good time? And, like, me personally, I was really pissed because we were supposed to play that night. We had a lot of people show up. But people were excited. And we had to let a lot of people down. That really pissed me off. So, like, that guy owes me an apology. And if he ever met me, he probably wouldn't have done that because he'd probably like me because I'm a nice guy and it's my birthday. But for him to do that, to call the state police, like, knowing you're going around the city police, not respecting anybody that put this on and just, like, to do that to a group of bands. It wasn't just us. It was a bunch of bands. is wrong. And the guy knew by calling the state police. By calling the state police, he knew that it would be shut down automatically. If he yes. called the city He's police, very smart. there was an, uh, an ordinance there. How so could they someone be that smart without loving rock and roll? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Well, do you think it was malicious beyond the festival? Because that's something that I of had course. asked Kevin. I think... Because who in the world knows about that law? I didn't know about that law. Uh, when I spoke to Kevin, I, I talked with him. I think everybody there learned that. that They're like, oh, you can do that. Cool. I think well, it's... uncool. But... <laughs> but, but like, okay, that's a thing. But, like, you know, people understood that you could do that. Do you think it was somebody who was in the restaurant business at no. some point or Ooh, something like that? No. Because how would you know about that law? It was a neighbor. But I'm asking, do you think that he... He's probably in law enforcement, has... and it was very selfish more than yeah. malicious. <laughs> okay. it was all about him. Hey, I'm not going to sit here and pontificate on what he does for a living. Yeah, I just wonder because I just... I, I think in my mind... How would you know about this law? Because if I don't know about the law, because a, you've 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 called the city many times, probably he's probably been complaining for a while. That's what I understood as well is that he's been a problematic neighbor for a while. So you know he probably you know the more you deal with something, the more you know about it. So he probably just started to understand. Okay, well the cops, the city cops can't do anything today. 
I remember that one guy told me he called the state. You internet. Know, that's the kind of thing. Or the internet. Or Yeah, the internet. That's probably. I, I just. It's it's weird that the restaurant owner himself didn't know about the law. And I guess that's where I think what that. law? The law that comes from the uh, the liquor license. Because the way that the, the law that was breached, it wasn't a local ordinance. So what happened is there's local ordinances which regulate your sound. But then attached to your liquor license, there's a sound clause oh. that comes in with your liquor license. And that sound clause specifically says that the sound cannot travel beyond the property line. And the group that busted James Street, they're a part of the state police called the Bureau of Liquor Control Enforcement. So they came in undercover. And they were specifically targeting them on liquor laws. And the way that they determine whether you've broken that law is they go outside and they listen. Wow. And if they hear the music, then they know that you've broken the law. And then they'll come in and... Well, that, I, I guess, to me, then I think we got to change that law. I, don't like that. I think that's ridiculous. That's yeah, to law. me, what is your... What is, what is liquor, what well, does liquor have anything to do? Rock and roll and alcohol go together. Let's just, yeah, let's, well, not only together. that, but, you know, we don't have a liquor license here at the Millville Studios. We once had a, a show here. You know, if we're super noisy, we're not held to the same standards and criteria as, say, the Double L, which is, like, down the street Doesn't from us. Doesn't that get into, like, the whole idea of, like, it's way too hard to start a small business, so we need to, like, make that easier? Yeah. <laughs> it's called regulations. Get rid of them Yeah, all. there's too many regulations. Come on, man. This is America. So what was the attitude like upstairs? In it, was the a, it was it was tense. How were the police? Were they were they like harsh? No, they were just like this is what it is, man. This is this is how it is, and they were doing their job. Let's mm -hmm. be honest, that's their job. Why the are they working world. so late? It wasn't even late. Yeah, <laughs> and there were so many people there, and it would have been such a great show. But that's why I'm here. That's why when Kevin said you want to come do it, I said yeah. The band's not going to be in town because you know we're not in town that week, but I'm in town, and I'd love to do it. Is it kind of a, a cool experience to be able to come back to this venue and open it up for the grand reopening party whenever you dealt with the other end of it where you weren't able to play? Well, it's always wonderful to see things come full circle and see that he's done whatever he needed to do to get his liquor license and get his business back. And I know that all my musician friends around town love that place. It's got a really good, like, really good uh, reputation. So it's a great place to be and a great place to have music. So I'm absolutely stoked to get there and start it back up, rev it back up. Yeah, it's got such a rich history, so I'm, I'm really thrilled to, to see it come back. And I would I was I was shocked and and really uh, disappointed to see uh, you know when that did happen. I, and one thing that I thought was awesome was just to see the community come together to It's always nice when people care. All right, we are back oh, on the river's edge. Somebody went over and, and accidentally flipped the switch on our breaker and completely shut down the entire studio. I think it was the state troopers. I think it was probably the state troopers. It was the sound yeah. ordinance guys. You were yeah. talking about the LCB. Yeah, well, you know, we board. were talking about them, then all of a sudden the system goes down. I don't know. I don't know. Coincidence? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. No. So, so what were we talking about? Like, it's been... James Street, and it's coming back, and coming back to fruition, and things are good there, and we're stoked to play there. Yeah, so tell me about uh, your history, about the band. And... I've been uh, touring the country for a couple of years now. I, I, I'm in a band called 28 North that I started here in Pittsburgh years back. With Now, do you live on 28, or did you I, live I on did. 28? I did. I grew up in Aspinwall, so... Okay. Went to Duquesne Music School there, started the band, uh, and, you know, toured with all kinds of bands over the years, ZZ Top, Train... 311, Young the Giant, been touring all over the country. Wow, that's Gotten awesome. Play some of the coolest venues you ever saw, and just really enjoying my time as a musician. And we just finished a record. I've been out in LA making a record. Just finished it. It's 14 songs right now. We're gonna probably cut it down to about eight or nine and uh, release it. So that's kind of what's been going on with me. And it's my birthday, and I couldn't be happier. Yeah, happy birthday! Thanks, and uh, I was glad to have you here for. For that, so that's mm -hmm. awesome. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, I gotta get out. I'm gonna be going fishing here in a few minutes, so very I'm cool. Wrap it up. Yeah, so let's wrap that up. <laughs> <laughs> you have a song for us. I'd love to play your song. Yes. This is one of my new songs. It's called Demon. And let's uh, move, if you don't mind, let's move this other mic over so we can. This. Okay, it's, it's uh, don't press anything. All right. All right, guys, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I would love to tune this guitar before I begin playing for you. All right. Well, I will. Uh, I will give you the holiday of the day while that's going on. 
Yeah, let's uh, hear that. Let's go. Oh. Today's holiday of the day is more herbs, uh, more herbs, less salt day. I don't even know why the hell this is a holiday, but uh, it is a holiday that promotes healthy eating and it promotes eating herbs over salt. Really, really dumb holiday. I can't believe anybody would cel celebrate something like that, but that is your holiday of the day. Speaking of dumb holidays, this is the opposite of that. Yes. What you say, nobody's safe. I don't know what to do, so I'll sing to you. I think. Sleep. 